you so much for having me here. I'm really honored. Um, those three people are kind of hard to follow. So I brought notes, so I, don't, I was going to try to write them in between my tattoos so it would look covert and kind of punk or something, but then I thought that maybe this would be awkward. Um, I also just want to say happy Mother's Day. I personally celebrate Mother's Day every day of the year, but I really would like to say thank you to all the moms, the grandmas, future moms, all ladies in the house. Uh, make my heart feel really nice and not in like a nervous way that I am right now. So not the feeling I'm having right now, but good. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna tell you a little love story. It's gonna get sultry, sort of, not really. It's actually maybe a potential breakup story about Vancouver. So um, Vancouver and I aren't doing very well. We're having some, uh, I can't tell if it's me or Vancouver. I can't tell if I'm doing something wrong or we should go to counseling or tried that. Spent a lot of money, felt good about myself, but maybe not Vancouver. Um, and then I'm gonna tell you about why I think I'm gonna stay in Vancouver. Um, I'm gonna tell you about a band called Pizza Rock. I'm gonna tell you about a bunch of eight-year-olds who changed my life. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my life and I'm gonna keep checking my notes because it feels good. I'm just gonna go with fe what feels good. So I moved here 13 years ago um, like the first guy, I moved here from northern BC. I'm from Burns Lake, Tattle Rose in particular, which is, uh, there were 12 people there, and I'm related to them all. And then I moved to Nanaimo, I went to high school in Nanaimo, which as you know, if you've been there, don't. <laughs> that was, I love Nanaimo, but I will actually recently considered moving back, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just steer away from that topic now. Um, which notes? Oh, well, not that one. Okay, yeah, so I moved here. And I got on the ferry. <laughs> I moved here. Um, my parents, who are lovely, my mother, they were like, Eileen, get out of here. Gay teenager, go. Get out of small town, gay teenager, go. So I moved, I got on the Sky Train. Love this, come on, cheer the Sky Train, come on. Amazing, it's amazing. I was just in Toronto. They do not have a SkyTrain. That's an X against Toronto. Bad girlfriend, Toronto. Um, got on the SkyTrain, and 13 years ago, if you remember, if you were here, it was really ugly at Grandview, or Grand, sorry, a Broadway commercial. It was like a lot. It was kind of gross, kind of skiddy, and I was stoked. I was like, oh yeah, this is super sketchy. I love it, like, everybody's friendly, and everybody's smiling, and there's, punks and oh my god there's so many women everywhere teeming with women it was so exciting coming from a small town i have to get my notes again so i was pretty stoked i came here yeah stoked got that i could do anything here i decided to put on shows i dj'd here at the wise hall right there yeah this looks recently painted that's nice um i love the wise hall by the way please tip your staff because they're not looking at us, but they should tip them. Just do it, lots. Um, I moved here. I made a movie about cat whispering. Like, they gave me money to make a movie about cat whispering? East Vancouver. <laughs> like, East Vancouver, really. I could do anything here, and it was wonderful and liberating, and, and then something happened. What happened, Vancouver? Did you guys see the cover? I think it was the West Ender recently, where they're talking about New West being the new Brooklyn. I thought East Vancouver was fucking Brooklyn, so don't, like, sorry to swear, I know there's children. I don't, I don't swear at work in front of the children, just so you know, your taxpayer dollars are not going to me swearing. But, uh, and we can bleep that out on the video, right? Yeah. Um, so I moved here, and I swear in front of children, and so all my friends started moving, and all the cultural spaces that I love started closing, and everything started changing, and I am a professional. I, make, I work for the city. I took my lanyard off, but I do work for the city. I make good money, and I can't afford to live in my neighborhood anymore, and it is breaking my heart, Vancouver. I don't want to move to New West. 
It was an inside joke 10 years ago that we were all going to get pushed to New West. I don't want to move to New West. It's pretty, but I don't want to move there. I live in East Van. It's, my, it's mine. <laughs> mine. Um, so then I decided four years ago to start a nonprofit called Girls Rock Camp Vancouver. With, there were, I think we started it in a yard at a barbecue. It was a potluck. It was very lesbian. Um, <laughs> Seriously, this is the kind of stuff when you finally meet people that you like relate to, you can start a nonprofit and do amazing things. And so we started this rock camp and there are 82 rock camps in the world. So I was at a conference and I met rock campers from Iceland, Paris, Jacksonville, Florida. There were librarians there at this conference who ran rock camps. It was like in paradise on a lake. Um, so I met all these amazing people who are doing the same thing. And I, I really feel like our camp is special though in Vancouver because I live here and it's mine. You know, I'm involved with it. But uh, we started this amazing, so if you don't know what it's about, so they show up on Monday. There's 32 of them. They're between eight and 18. They start a band on day one. And then all week, this is them progressing through the week. You know, visuals for the visual learners in the house. And on the Saturday, they perform an original song that they wrote on the stage at the Rio Theater in front of 400 people. We actually have um, a rock camper here tonight, which I was kind of jarred by when they came in. I was like, oh no, I gotta, I gotta not swear as much or something. Um, but it's a total honor to be involved with rock camp. It's life changing. I, uh, I opened the mail at the post office, our post office box. And uh, this is where Pizza Rock comes in. So I open up an, an a camper application, and it's a return camper. And last year she was in a band called Pizza Rock. And her, in her little part on the application that asks if you've been to camp before, yes, I was in a band called Pizza Rock. We play a lot of gigs now as Murder Burger. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw them play at Cafe de Soleil, and they're putting out a 10 inch split 10 inch with one of the camper's mom's band, Pizza Sub. <laughs> and it just gets better and better and better and better and better and better. Um, so I would love if campers in Grandview Woodland can afford to buy houses here eventually. I don't want them to all get pushed out of their own neighborhood that they grew up in. So I urge, this is the serious part where I turn my head down a bit and I make really intense eye contact with someone, you right there. I would urge the city of Vancouver to think about its generations, about who's here now, who should be here in 10 years, whose grandma's from here. I want, I want them to feel good here. I don't want them to get priced out. I don't want them to move to New West. That's really hard for them to get to camp because it's a long SkyTrain ride and if it breaks down, then we're waiting for them and then they miss morning opening ceremonies and they don't get to sing the camp song and they don't have breakfast, it sucks. Bummer. Um, so in closing, I would like to say in the spirit that for June, I'm looking for a roommate. Um, <laughs> it's at second and commercial. I am nice, but I'll admit it. I like cleanliness and not just in a theoretical way. Um, I have two cats, so you can't have any. And this is my personal dare for you. If eight-year-olds can put out a 10-inch record, you can say hi to the person next to you that you don't know. Say hi to people you don't know tonight. These are your neighbors, right? Like, like Kari was saying, everyone here is a potential friend. So please say hi to your neighbors. Please ask me about Rock Camp or Ladies Rock Camp, which is this month. Ooh, ah. Um, I forgot flyers. I was going to ring flyers. But uh, thank you so much for having me. And have a great night.